Hi, this is Ria from FTC Team 18172, and today I'm going to show you how to make a customized greeting card on Code.org. Okay, so on the left, we have um, our screen, of, and it's going to show you how the greeting card works. So I'm going to run it for you, and then I'm going to explain the code, and hopefully you guys can try by yourselves. Okay, so when I click run, we have this screen and there's a gift on it that continues growing. And it asks you a question here. So it's saying who is having the birthday. So we're gonna be making a birthday card um, and you just wanna type a name. I'm gonna use my name. And then you click the check mark right here. And then the next question is how old will they be? So let's say I'm gonna be turning 17. And then I click the check mark again and then it takes you to a new screen with your new customized greeting card, which says, happy birthday, Ria, you're turning 17. And that is it. So that's how the game works. And now we're gonna look at the code. Okay. So the first block we start with is when we run. The when we run block just simply is like a start button. It just tells you that the rest of the code under it is what's gonna happen when you click the run button right here. Um, next, it says make a new, and then it has this logo, and it's called a sprite. A sprite is basically a standalone object in a code, or in other words, just an animated element in the code. So all this block is saying is that we're going to make this new element, and we're going to have it positioned at 200, comma 200. So that is just the coordinate. It's like an x, y axis. So on the left screen, you can see that 200, 200 is around right here, which just means that they want to keep this sprite, which is the gift, they want to keep that in the center of the screen. Um, the next block says that this sprite, the element, the gift basket, is going to begin growing. So when we run the code, we can see that the gift is growing. That's all this code is doing right here. Um, the next element is that since this is the base screen, we have to involve the question in the code as well. So the next part of the code is saying that it's going to prompt the user, it's going to give this question to you, the who is having a birthday. And then we create a variable called name. And creating a variable allows the user to interact with the game. So having it set as a blank variable means that I can input whatever I want, and then they will ex um, output it later on. So all this block is saying right here is we're going to display a question, which is who is having a birthday, and then the user is going to input something in the variable name. Um, the next thing is the same thing, which is the next question that shows up. So after I type my name and I click the check, the next question right here, is how old will they be? So that is the next question that they ask. And then the variable for what I put is called age. So that is all that this section right here is doing. Um, the next section is what happens when I answer the question. So when the variable age is answered, so the second question, um, it shows that the next screen is going to display the answer to the name plus the answer to my age. So after the second question is answered, it will change the screen and it'll show happy birthday and it'll output the name that I inputted. And then it will say you are turning and it'll output the age that I put. So the happy birthday and the exclamation mark is what the coder inputs, which is um, concrete information and the name and the age are just variables based on what the user inputs. Um, other, since we're changing the screen, we have to get rid of this gift because if you noticed, after I input something here, um, the gift basket is no longer on the new screen. So this block right here is just saying that we're gonna get rid of that element or that sprite. Um, we change when the sc 
screen changes, the background also changes. So this block, all that is doing is that it's changing the background of the screen. So it looks like we have entered a new screen. Um, these three blocks right here, all they're saying is calling new elements, they're calling new sprites, and they're setting the locations for them. So again, as you can see, when we run the code, Um, these three new elements are on the screen. Um, and they are the pizza, the cake, and the cupcake. So that's all this is doing. And the yellow blocks right here are just setting the positions for them, just like we did up here with the 200, 200. Uh, the next part of the code is, as you can see, when we run the code, um, you can tell that the elements right here are moving a little bit. So the card seems a little more interactive. So all they are doing there is we are calling the element or the sprite, and we are telling the code that we want it to um, be involved in some sort of action. And in this case, it's going to be called jittering. So they're just moving a little bit, and that is what this is. You can choose whatever you want here, but in this card, we chose jittering. So all you have to do for this to make the little elements move is you have to call the element or the sprite, and then you have to tell the code what action you want it to do. And we did that for all three of the objects. So when we get to the new screen, um, they start moving. So that is basically the entirety of the code. Um, the elements that were used in this were calling variables, um, setting positions for them, we have uh, variable inputs. We have um, movements for the objects and we have background change. So that's basically all this code involves. It's just a short code and you can create an entire game using a small little code. All right, that's it. <laughs>